what is up my coaches with the mostest if you're watching this right now we are about to go into how to operate without a website now this was a very specific question that i got and honestly i had to get a little creative with it but i really thought of the three most important factors that come with operating without a website so the reason you might want to operate without a website is if you're just getting started and to be honest with you guys you don't really need a website i think websites are kind of dead nowadays but what you do want to have is down the line you do want to have some kind of lead generation software so that could be something like click funnels it could be kind of like just a, a lead sheet um, i think lead pages is a pretty good example and what that allows you to do is you can offer something for free in exchange for an email and uh, you can kind of set that up uh, later down the line but if you're starting off lean and you're just getting started i came up with the three areas that you do want to have something for all right guys so the very first thing i have open here is something called google <laughs> can't even pronounce it is Google Forms. Now what Google Forms allows you to do is like a tongue twister, I swear. It allows you to basically create little survey pages. So we could even, uh, let's see if we can click one of these. Boom. All right, so this one says contact information, right? And it's gonna open it up and we're gonna see what that looks like. But you can shift these around and that's the most important thing, guys. And what the way that I would recommend using this is if you are working with somebody like a custom client, you can send them a link to basically this page where they just fill it out. So you could have them fill out their information and you can change all of this. I'm not gonna show that in this video. It's not, I'm not gonna go that in depth but you can change these around so you can change what this says uh, so if instead of saying name you can have that you can make these required answers you see where there's a little red star that means it's required so they can't submit the page unless they do that and uh down here you could even say instead of phone number you can write you know uh workout goal you know something like that like what you know, you can type like, what is your ideal outcome, right? So you can do something like that and uh, you can have them do a short answer. You can do check boxes. You can do like a multiple choice. You can have them write a paragraph, whatever, right? So you can do a lot of different things. You can even change this, this, you can change the color scheme. You know, there's uh, the settings here. I think it's this one here. You can customize the theme, customize the colors. You can do a lot of different things with these, but what, the way that I want you guys to use this is to obtain information that you need before you work with somebody. Now, what that does is it shows the client, for one, that they're not like, you don't treat everybody the same, right? And also, you can kind of use this as a filtering system. So if, let's say, you we want to work with a certain kind of person, and you want to make sure that they're pretty on board already, so maybe you ask them certain questions that might get them to reveal that information. So, for example, if you want to work with somebody and maybe you want to charge a certain amount of money, you could ask hypothetically, like, hey, what's your annual income, you know, or like, what's your occupation? That way you kind of get a gist of maybe how much they're making, if they have the budget for it. And you can do that. That's an option. The second thing you can you can do here is you can assess their ability. So you can have here maybe instead of address, you could write like, like what is your level of you know gym experience oops typo there like what is your level of gym experience right and then you can hit multiple choice and you can say beginner uh intermediate etc you know what i mean i spelled that wrong yeah beginner intermediate or advanced you know what i mean and then they can kind of respond and you can kind of get to know them a little better build a profile for the kind of person you're working with so that's the first piece you do this you don't need a website you just have you send this to them all you have to do i think is click this this one oh duh <laughs> all right so then once you have it filled out what you do is you click send that's what it is and you can either send it to their email or you can get click this button here and, and it'll give you a link you can even shorten the url you copy that you send them that you can send them that through messenger you can send that through whatever they click it they fill it out and then you can get a notification 
when they fill it out so once somebody fills it out you can click this tab and see the responses you know so once somebody once people fill it out their responses and they submit it the response will go here so you're able to review contact them let them know you saw it let them know you reviewed it set up a time to talk again and go from there so that's going to be a very very helpful lead generation tool for you guys without having a website now the second thing you're going to need here i have dropbox now you don't need to use dropbox okay i just used it as an example um, you basically want to have a place where you can store pdfs so you can use Dropbox, you can use Google Drive, you can use uh, Mega, like there's all kinds of storage facilities here. But what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to store PDFs that you may want to send. So let's say you're using Dropbox. Um, I'm not logged in, but obviously you could figure it out from here. Again, it's not that kind of tutorial, but you can basically the goal is to have some kind of system. Again, it could be Google Drive. It could be Dropbox where you upload your PDFs. Now, that could be your nutrition plans. It could be a workout plan that you type up um, and you could type it up in Google Docs, save it to your Google Drive. And then from there, you can go ahead and send them a link, send your client a link so that they can download the plan or the PDF either from one of these sites. So it keeps it really simple. It keeps everything in one place and you don't need a website for this. You can just send them, send them the link so they can download the PDFs and you're good to go. Now, the last thing that I would say here that you really need to get operating without a website is a way to communicate. Now, there's a lot of different apps. There's, you know, there's WhatsApp, there's Facebook Messenger. Um, there's there's a lot of different chat apps, you know, but I would recommend one that at least looks clean, at least looks professional. Because um, again, guys, you always want to be thinking, how does this make my business look? So if you're operating off of a janky looking Google form or you're doing all your business off of Facebook and you're just kind of chatting on Facebook, it decreases the value, the, the perceived value of what you're doing. So you always want to say, hey, how is this making my business look? Now, just something to keep in mind. So this, I came across this kind of when I was wrapping up my client phase, but I found this app called um, WhatsApp Business. So it's very similar to WhatsApp, but it's just a little more professional because it's based for business. So as you can see here, you know, it says be where your customers are and they offer these. So you can send images, videos, files, and more. Uh, you can share your location you can send contact information you can send documents you know it's just a very useful tool for communicating in a professional sense so you don't have these people kind of blowing up your phone you know it, it doesn't look unprofessional like you're just texting them from your number you know you're you're maintaining professionalism and this looks professional. You can say, hey, this is my WhatsApp business. This is how I communicate with my clients. Um, and that way you can even like not have notifications on, you know, and you can be like, hey, you know, this is my business time. I will dedicate, you know, a block of time to responding to clients. I'm gonna use this app to respond to my clients. And that's it, you know, so it maintains an air of professionalism and it just looks better. So you can choose whatever you want, but the goal is to have a way to communicate with your clients in a way that lets you, you know, chat with them. Um, at, if they have questions, they can ask you questions. You can give them answers. You can send them resources. You can send them images, PDFs, whatever it might be, links to, to videos. That is all in, in your control here now that being said this tool is a premium tool it's something i use i was going to show you my dashboard but there's way too much like client information on there and i don't want to blur it all out so i'm just going to show you the main page here now this app is called trainerize it is only roughly five dollars to get started on a monthly um, platform for two clients uh, if you want to go higher, it's about $20 a month, depending on your level of clients. So just a heads up, it is a, a paid premium software, but you can do a lot on it without having a website. So this allows you to onboard clients. It allows you to communicate with clients. As you can see in this image here, it allows you to track their progress in a very detailed way. I will, I can make a future video on like trainerized tutorials. If you guys do want that down the line but this is kind of just you know a tool that you can use when you don't have a website 
So as you can see here, it, it does allow you, you can, what it's showing here in this little image on the right here is that you can message them through the Trainerize app. So we were just talking about WhatsApp. This is another way. This is kind of an all-in-one tool. Again, it's very valuable. I would highly recommend it. Um, you don't need a website. So here, you guys can kind of see if you squint. You know, you can search a client. There's an overview. You can message them. You can set groups. You can see your individual clients there. You can set programs here. So we were talking about programs earlier. You can set their workouts here different exercises and they have a library of exercises that you can set so you can kind of plug and play so i highly recommend it guys again i can make a future video you can brand it you can um, accept payments through it there's all it's very very in-depth i would highly recommend it again so you can see that there's different ways to use it yeah and there's also um what do you call this there's also connections so you can one here you can see you can upload your youtube videos uh, you can have your clients connect to their fitbit and their apple watch uh, so again guys it's a very useful tool you don't need a website you can just get this and i uh, highly highly recommend it so that's going to be the video for today guys these are really all the tools that you need to get started if you don't have a website that's all you need you need an intake form you know so you can onboard your clients understand their needs and give an assessment you need a way to share documents with them so that could be using google drive it could be using dropbox you can send them pdfs you can send them a link uh, and then you also need a way to message them that could be using whatsapp business whatsapp facebook messenger trainerize and of course if you do want an all-in-one tool basically you can use trainerize and uh get started on that so i know they have a free trial if you want to go ahead and just check it out see if it's for you go for it see how it is all right guys let me know what you liked most about this video let me know what was most valuable in the comment section below if you're new here hit that subscribe button for more of this content and go ahead and hit that like button it really helps me out shows your appreciation and i'll see you guys in the next one bye